So, went through a fairly long run with the expanded content. I figure I'd try and give another try with the um, original contact in hard mode, so we'll go back to that. And, um, so I'll note something. Apparently, I looked up a little bit about unlocking the uh, advanced content ships, so, um... Well, basically here. To unlock a new ship, you have two options. Find and complete the unique quest, blah, blah, blah. Alternately, beat the game with the previous ship in the list of unlocked and next. So, um, this is a note, basically what that's saying. If, uh, you remember with, like, the, uh, rock cruiser here, I basically have all three types of these, um, you know, unlocked now. What to do to unlock the type C, you have to basically beat the game, um, all, or not really beat the game, but just get the, uh, to, uh, Sector 8 with the type B layout on the advanced content and you'll unlock it. So, I'm just thinking a little bit about what I'm going to do with the hard content as sort of like, you know, a thought pattern, so, so to speak, with it. Um... What I'm thinking is that uh, we're going to basically stick to only doing Type A for the uh, hard mode and the original stuff, I guess. And I'll probably, just, you know, maybe uh, you know complete the stuff cruiser in my off time or something like that. And um, that'll basically be how we're going to go with that. And the last cruiser is, of course, you know, advanced content. There's like no way playing without it. Let's see here. Let's go to the Zultan Cruiser for now, and I'll try using the Agitator to uh, get through the hard content. We'll call this guy um, Defensive Action. And we'll call these guys Defensive Characters from Tales of Maggio, why not? Uh, that's not a good name. Ah, that's cool, close enough. My son Paladin. Alright, let's get this underway and see if I can, you know, get a little bit farther with the uh, hard difficulty. Alright, let's see here. I want to... do that. I'm definitely wanna, we're gonna want to get you know our pilot for the actual pilot station there. Um, okay, it looks like we're fairly good here. So let's go here. Vessels relieved to hear you from you. They are running low on supplies. It's just a trade. So they want a fuel for, or they'll, they'll give me a uh, fuel for two drone parts. Yeah, we'll do that just because I'm not using drone parts yet, and that's a fairly decent trade. Uh, sure. Okay, this is gonna be kind of risky, but. Okay, awesome. We've managed to get a guy. So he states that he's a weapons operator before getting stranded. He happened off his service from a time to exchange for get, getting off this rock. So, guy sells an energy. He'll go to weapons because he's, you know, a weapon uh, officer. This guy can go to shields. That's where, you know, I like to put cells in sometimes. So, that's fine. That was really lucky. This might be a good run. All right, so he's got drones and he's got one little laser. Oh, nice, I can get all the rooms there. I overshield took a hit there. And he took a massive hit there. <clears throat> Too bad you didn't surrender. Not that it really matters. <clears throat> Forgot to actually set this to fire anywhere, but it doesn't really matter. Shields holding! Apparently I just got myself an achievement of some sort that I missed.
Let's go this way. Hmm. I want to play this carefully going around the, the exit beacon. Alright, um, on my scout, pulling in the beacon, appears to be activated, is an auto assault. He's gonna have drones, and he's got one of those little uh, laser type beams. Let's try it. Oh, cool, we actually got ourselves some free data and he didn't activate. Nice. So I know there's a ship there. Well, I can't, you know make it all the way around in time to sort of go loop around a sector, so... Uh, potentially, um, play the decline slightly, so... Can't help them. I don't have any drone parts. Okay, this guy's got missiles and he's got those, so... I think we can deal with this guy. Doesn't look like I can hit his room there, so... Well, let's just see. Can I? Yes, I can. I can hit all four of those rooms. So let's just do that. So, this is not going to go through my overshields. It'll hurt them, but it won't get through them. And then I'll just basically rip them apart in one shot. Alright, so ship breaks apart. Quickly salvage. We got ourselves a drone. That's cool. And we got some more scrap. So this is looking very, very good for this uh, starting run. And sadly, I can't go any farther, so we'll just have to go through the exit. He's going to try to escape. He will not escape. He will fail. Let's go like that, and I'll just uh, hit all those rooms. He might be able to get through my shields, I'm not sure. Oh, he missed. And he missed again! I like these misses. Sort of. He's actually getting piling experiences I don't really care about, but whatever. Oh, there goes the missiles back on again. That's cool. The ship bites the dust. He had drone schematics, but you know, he only gets the drone parts. All right, well, that's a very liney step of sector. I can go hostiles or I can go less hostiles. I think we'll go less hostile. All right, so let's just think about my ship a little bit at this point. Um, so I've got myself a halberd beam, I've got a leader on this, like, you know, agitator here. And I've got the overshields, and i got, you know, this other stuff. Um, I basically want to get myself beam weapons or something to knock down shields real fast. The, you know, this stuff will eventually not pan out in the later part of the runs. So I'm basically trying to hope for, you know, weapon systems or something to pop up. Resulting series staff board your ship and begin scanning the through spaces and computer sunny alarms go out go off and it's only leap on your crew. This person has won all five charges of utter villainy, surrender trim to us. Um refuse and fight. You're not gonna leave the enemy behind. You'll pull away from the station with, uh, with the enemy guys on board. Fortunately, they are able to sabotage your weapons in chaos, it's time to leave. They must have super ship bypass units, borders are on board, but we already know that. So, gotta deal with these borders, and they sabotage my weapons apparently. Um, we can take him, I think, so... Actually, you stay here. I want these two guys here to initially just fight him, I guess. I 
Actually, no, I want these guys to go this way, maybe. I'm just going to make use of my door systems to sort of take care of these guys. We're just going to suffer him to death. And he's got iron beams, I'll suck. Nope, oh, there goes my uh, overshield almost. Flee! Hmm, I can probably take all these guys, so... We're gonna try and get some combat experience for my guys. There we go, combat experience. Oop, there goes my shields. My weapons took a hit, but who cares? That's already damaged anyways. I'm gonna go back to weapons. It wasn't a good idea getting them, you know, their, um, what you call it. Experience, whatever. I want to do it anyways. Oh. Fix that. Oh, there goes my shields. Not that they're helping a whole lot, but... This is where I really need better engines or something. Because it's really hurting me to fight these guys. Please get back to engines. Oh, my engines took a hit there. Apparently we're able to jump, so we'll do that. So that initial fight kind of sucked. The ship is full of advertisements. I can basically trade two missiles for two drone parts here. Uh, that's not really that great, so ignore. So that fight kind of sucked. That's just bad luck on my part, I guess. But you know, that's part of this game. It's all—it's very luck-based. There's a store. All right, that's good to know. If um, we have to go to the store now because I have to, you know, get out of sector two. Um, he does have weapons, but he's only got the Glaive Beam and the Pegasus, and like these guys down here. Um, I could, you know, maybe buy stuff like this. And this is pretty nice to fire off, but... That'd be nice to have. Hmm. Is there anything in here I maybe want, want to take out? This is like garbage. This Lido here. So 
So I'm thinking that I'm going to maybe buy the Pegasus. And the reason I'm buying the Pegasus is just for a simple reason that um, I can basically make use of the Pegasus to sort of, you know, beat through stuff and then like I can switch over to the other weapons as needed. The Howard Beam or whatever else. Inside you know that you detect a rogue plant drifting through space on its surface, a huge mouth, blah, blah, blah. Alright, do I dare look into this and possibly lose a crew member? I'm going to say leave just because it's not, you know, worth dealing with. Can't go down to that distress because, you know, I've just got nowhere to go to it. Damn it. Well, we're gonna have to fight these guys, but it's just you know, one of these regular ships, so it shouldn't be too bad. Should be able to take this guy out. Boom. Fire the laser. There's his weapons, drones are damaged. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And next shot should kill him. Trying to get away. And we made him die. Um, yeah, I can risk going down here. A man scout that's not running away. Okay, cool. I can take that. Damage all that. Miss. Beam's hurt though. Boom. I'll take that. I'm actually thinking if I should wonder if, if I could get like, you know, engines up perhaps. One of the reasons I had such a difficulty running away from that fight there is just because I had poor engines, so maybe I'll upgrade them now. Just to sort of alleviate that, that problem. Oh, beam drone. That's not gonna be fun. And I can only hit about three systems on this ship, so. At least I only does one damage apparently, so that's fine. This is only a one shot or two, so. This won't be too bad, I don't think. Yep, this is gonna be pretty sweet. Screw it. You know what? Let's just uh, finish him off anyway, so it doesn't matter where I have the laser firing here. So that's done. There's a store up there, but I don't really have anything to buy with it, so. Let's calculate here. One, two, I think I can go here, 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 in that order, and be able to get the rest of the, you know, the, what I can out of the sector. Unfortunately, this ran into one of the worst things I can possibly run into, this guy here. So, this is going to hurt. Um, in this situation, I want to use the... Damn it, I don't want to go after this guy. He'll shoot down missiles and everything else. Um, I basically want to try and do what I can to survive against this guy, because he's going to be a nuisance. Uh, 
and sadly this nuisance has got, you know, a hard to hit, hit layout. Actually, can I go like this? No. I still want to get the engines up there, but it's just a little bit too far away. So we'll go back to hitting his auction, his shields, and all that. This is going to hurt. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I missed. I shot off his burst laser. Cool. Oh, that's back on, but whatever. It's not going to fire again before I fire at him. Oh, it is going to fire again before... It's going to hurt. Oh, it's fire. That's all I care. You know, fire, whatever. Vent it. All right. I'll take that substantial scrap. Poof, poof. Well, that wasn't too bad of a fight. And I can afford to get you know, this up a little bit more. So, a little bit more evasion. Oh, this is going to suck. This is not going to... Well, I, I can hopefully wait till their uh, stuff goes down, but... Overshields do not work too well against uh, asteroids. I have an oh no, both of you, we're both over those ships, but this is not be fun. Boom. Hopefully all his shields will go down before it packs his charges up. Come on, take some more astro hits. Come on, take another one. There. We're gonna Fire these, fire the missiles, and there goes his weapons. I did that purposely just so that he loses weapons immediately, so, uh oh, she just took a ion hit here. Oh good, we didn't get hit by an asteroid there, so, lucky. Awesome. That could be a bad fight, but we, we lucked out a little bit there. Well, we gotta deal with these guys now. We we'll use the Howard Beam to take these guys out. I wonder what does more damage here, the Halberd Beam or the Pegasus? And they probably do the same amount of damage. And the Halberd recharges faster. There goes the Overshield. Oh, we damaged his uh, Piloting. His dodging is critical. Nice. Poor timing on the shots there for him. There we go. He's going critical. Now we're going to hit shields like that. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll knock down his shields and then I can kill off his ship very quick. But it'll kill him regardless in the next shot, anyways. But. Boom. So that's done. We can get to the exit. Um, I can buy fuel here for 12 scrap. That's worth doing, I think, just so I make sure I don't have fuel problems. And it goes Zoltan Homeworlds, or I can go to and try Nebula. You know what? We're gonna actually um, 
pause recording here, I think, and we'll say this is going to be it for this episode. I think I've gone, you know, far enough to say this is a fairly good start. Hopefully it won't turn out bad, and we'll see how it goes. So for now, take care.